how to manually index your website or a URL within Google Search Console. Let's get into this. Hi, and welcome back to the channel again. A few of you have asked me how you can actually manually index an article within Google Search Console. So you may have watched some of my videos recently and you've seen on some of my previous websites that I've had some indexing issues. And in fact, I still have one website that's relatively new, but seems to be having some indexing issues. So what do I mean by indexing issues? So basically you can create as much content as you want, but if it's not indexed within the SERPs, then you will not be found. So when somebody searches for an article that you've written some amazing content for, it just will not be found. Now, I'm going to take it for this instance that you have a website and that your actual website itself is indexed. And the way you can check that if you're unsure is simply go to Google and type site colon your URL and see if it returns a search. So basically you're looking to see if people can find your website in the SERP index. Fingers crossed your website is found, then we know at least your site itself is indexed. But if it's not, the first thing I would check is make sure you have a live sitemap. So go to Google Search Console and submit a sitemap. Then allow Google a few days to actually pick up your website, then try that search again. Fingers crossed this time, your site is found. So now we know your site is indexed, what about your individual articles and posts? So as I said, I've had some instances where I have certain articles that are not being picked up by Google. So the basic footprint of Google indexing your content is first of all, it needs to discover it, it then needs to crawl the article, and then it will index the article. It's kind of a three step process. Now some on-page SEO practices that you can do to make sure Google easily discovers your articles is by interlinking your articles and making them very easy for Google to find on your website. A rule of thumb is your content should never be more than two clicks away for the user and for Google on your website. Another thing you can do is link externally out to other pieces of content and you can also add some backlinks to your website. That way when that website is crawled, Google will find that link, come back to your website and crawl your pages as well. So the more often Google comes to your website and crawls through all the pages, through all those links and all those nice posts you've written, the more chance you have of that content being found and ranked within the SERP index. It's crucial that the content that you have written is being found by Google. The worst notification you can get is this one you can see on screen now, the URL is not indexed which means Google can't find your article. That means that your customers and your audience cannot find your article. So what are some reasons why you would want to go into Google Search Console and manually index your article? Well, for two reasons really. Number one, if the article is not being found at all, so you've performed the search within Google and it's coming up with no content. And again, just do site, colon, and the URL of the article you're trying to find, see if it shows up in Google. And if it doesn't, that's when you might want to manually index it in Google Search Console. And again, I will show you that step-by-step -step process in just a moment. The second reason you might want to do that is if your content has changed. If you've updated the content and you want Google to come back to the article because you've improved it and you think it deserves a second look and you want Google to crawl it and rank it in the SERP index, hopefully a little bit higher. So how do you manually index an article in Google Search Console? Well, it's very simple. First of all, open up your Google Search Console, click the URL inspection, add the URL of the post or page you would like to index, press enter and see if it actually is indexed already. I presume it's not going to be. And then the next thing you need to do is click the request and index. This will take about 30 or 40 seconds Google will then go out and find the article, then add it to its crawl list. What that means is Google will in time now come and manually take a look at that URL that you've submitted. Then if it likes what it sees, it should index it in the SERP index and your customers and visitors should now be able to find your content. Now, please be patient with this. It can take a number of days for Google to come back and have a look at your request. Also, there is a limit. There's a crawl budget that Google has 
per website. So for very, very new sites, that crawl budget is very low. You may only get, I don't know what the number is, but you may only get 10 manual requests every few days. I think it used to be 50 a month, something like that. But yeah, you should only be indexing the pages that you really are struggling with and that you really want Google to take a look at. I would not suggest going to Google Search Console and just putting in your URLs randomly just for the fun of it. It's not gonna do you any good. It's not gonna send any great signals to Google. Only manually submit your articles or your posts or your pages that are really struggling. So they're not being found at all within the SERP index or pages that you've made some major changes and hopefully improvements to. So hopefully you found that helpful. It is a process that a few of you have been asking me to explain. I know there's some experienced bloggers out there who watch this channel, and this might be, to coin an old phrase, teaching your grandma to suck eggs. But I hope it's helpful for those of you who are new to blogging and struggling to get your pages indexed. So thanks for joining me. Please comment below. Have you had any difficulty indexing pages recently? Have you been trying to manually force index these pages into Google? Was it successful? Let me know how you went on.